Were you happy with the end of Mass Effect 3? Would you have liked it to have been different? Well, we have another different ending to the Mass Effect franchise. Welcome back Commander. Lead writer in Mass Effect 1 and 2, plus the novels Revelation, Ascension and Retribution, Drew Carpician, held an AMA or Ask Me Anything over on Reddit. There were some great snippets of information, with the biggest one being a different ending to the franchise. In the AMA, user Katiko asked a question on Star Wars, but then it also snuck in the question on Mass Effect. The question was, also, how would you have concluded the Mass Effect series? To which Drew replied, Sneaky, two questions for the price of one. As for Mass Effect, we have some very rough ideas planned out. Basically, it involved luring the Reapers through the mass relays, then detonating the entire network to wipe them out, but also destroying or damaging the relays and isolating every galactic community from the others. But we still had to figure out lots of details, and there were some issues with that option, like what we would do in the next series of games. Now this is similar to what we were given in the mass relays were destroyed, although in the extended cut, which is now the official canon, no matter what ending you pick, Hackett will tell you that they were only damaged, not destroyed, and that they could be rebuilt. This also mitigates the next series of games problem that Drew mentions. In fact, they had the perfect way to avoid this with Andromeda. That game starts off during the events of Mass Effect 2 and so bypasses the ending altogether. It's a shame they didn't stick with it and fleshed out the game more with extra content, but that's a video for another day. So this different ending doesn't sound all too different than what we got. However, it's not the first time he's told us about a potential ending. In a 2013 interview, Drew had this to say about the ending. Some of the ideas were a little wacky, a little bit crazy. There was one point some ideas that may have Shepard actually an alien and didn't know it, but we thought that was maybe going a bit too close to Revan from Star Wars The Old Republic. At one point we thought, well, maybe at some point Shepard gets his essence transferred into some kind of machine becomes kind of a cyborg and becomes a sort of bridge between organic and synthetic life. Interestingly, we did kind of get that as one of the options. In the 2013 interview, Drew also touched on the dark energy, a concept that was introduced in Mass Effect 2 but ultimately never went anywhere. I have a whole video on this, which I'll link in the description. The dark energy ending isn't mentioned in the AMA and basically boils down to the biotic powers destroying the universe so the Reapers kept wiping out organic life because organics would eventually evolve to where they were using biotics and dark energy that potentially was going to hasten the end of the universe. But there is another alternate ending. Apparently a few months before the ending was finalised, there wasn't supposed to be a star child, and instead it would have been a Reaper Queen that Shepard spoke with. According to former Bioware animation director Dave Wilkinson, in an interview he says, it wasn't always like this. Originally, Shepard, who was supposed to become a deus ex argument, plugged himself into the Citadel and then had a conversation in a virtual space with a God of the Reapers or a Reaper Queen. Apparently this Queen wanted the Reapers to evolve but thought they were incapable of evolution because of the limitations of our AI, who then locked away inside the Citadel because the Reapers didn't like what they were proposing. The Queen then offered the chance to Shepard to let the Reapers evolve. Those choices of the original ending became Renegade, Shepard refuses, attacks, causes the Citadel to detonate, wipes out Earth but destroys the Reapers and allows the rest of the galaxy to survive. Paragon, Shepard becomes a big King Reaper and takes control of the Reapers and to be the power of good. Or Synthesis, the Queen uses space magic to combine herself with Shepard and mix biological and synthetic beings. Wilkinson describes the mother and daughter of a hill, the Saris who are a little bit different, where there is a green circuit sheen on everything and the mother telling the story of how Shepard made everything better and saved everybody from the Reapers. So, much like the final choice in the game, we've got three different endings there. Drew Carpician's original Dark Energy, his alternate ending that favours more on Destroy ending, or the Reaper Queen. In the comments, out of all those, which would you have liked to have seen? Or are you the type of person who would reject them all, like shooting that star kid, and just stick with the original endings that we actually got? Drew said in the AMA, blowing up the network would have made it more difficult for future games. The Normandy just about outran that last, so could it be the best ship to bring back for the next Mass Effect game? Well, to find out, you need to watch the video that's on screen now. So don't forget to hit that like button or even the join button for membership. Big thank you to Nerdy Dude, the supporters, and you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Commander. God of the Reapers, or a, we a Weeper Queen? A Weeper Queen. A Reaper Queen.